Greetings and shalom, friends, family, and partners. Uh, Brent Johnson here, the director of Jacob's Hope, and uh, Wade Clark behind the camera today. Just wanted to bring you an update from our international offices here in Springfield, Missouri, regarding uh, Israel, of course, and uh, many places around the world that are suffering in war. We were talking here in our offices about the places that Jacob's Hope uh, is uh, focused on uh, at this time and in Israel, in Ukraine, and in Ethiopia, all of these places, the one thing that they have in common besides having Jewish populations is the fact that uh, terrible wars and destruction and suffering of people are taking place there on a grand scale. Uh, and we're here to bring the hope of Yeshua Mashiach, Jesus the Messiah, to each of these areas, although there's different context, the key is the people and the forces of hell that have enlarged themselves against the Jewish populations around the world. And we're seeing the rise of anti-Semitism as never before. You're seeing this take place around the world. It was always there. It was always simmering and, and people have passed away. People were, have been killed. People have been terrorized. All of these things are taking place around the world and even in our own nation. How tragic today is the outright hatred of Jewish people. It's unbelievable what is taking place, but it's the sign of the times and the spirit of Antichrist truly manifesting in our day and in our time prophetically that these things would come to pass and you and I are seeing it. But I want you to know that today you and I can be a source of encouragement. We can be a source of hope. We can bring, be a source of shalom uh, to the Jewish people in all of these areas and especially in Israel today. I wanted to read to you just a passage out of Isaiah chapter 50 uh, speaking about and regarding the Jewish people and the God of Israel, the God of the Jewish people, Adonai. It says in Isaiah 52, uh, verse 4, Now therefore, what do I have here, declares the Lord, seeing that my people have been taken away without cause? Again, the Lord declares, Those who rule over them howl, and my name is continually blasphemed all day long. Therefore, my people shall know my name. Therefore, in that day, I am the one who is speaking. Here I am. And it goes into this passage that you are probably familiar with. How lovely on the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news, who announces peace and brings good news of happiness, who announces salvation and says to Zion, Your God reigns. Listen, your watchmen lift up their voices. They shout joyfully together, for they will see with their own eyes when the Lord restores Zion. Break forth, shout joyfully together, your waste places of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm in the sight of all the nations that all the ends of the earth may see the salvation of our God. This is the hour. This is the time. Uh, last week, almost a week ago tomorrow, we were in the World Prayer Center with leaders and other people who have a heart for Israel and for the Jewish people and for the Arab people to pray and seek God's face, to seek God's comfort today for the people of Israel in that region. We need your prayers and your intercessions, and we want you to be a people. Uh, we stood upon uh, the map uh, there at the World Prayer Center. It was lit up, and we prayed around Israel and the regions round about uh, the other countries, the other nations that want to wipe Israel off of the map. We stood there and we prayed that people would have a revelation of the salvation of Messiah, Jesus. We prayed for peace, shalom, to come 
We prayed for divine care and wisdom and an Issachar anointing that Israel and its leadership would know what to do in times like this, unprecedented times. So please continue to pray with us. And as your heart is moved, as it's said in the Ancient of Days by the Lord, whose ever heart is moved, let them come and bring offerings, bring gifts to God's people. Would you, would you strongly pray about what you would do for the Jewish people in this hour, in this time for Israel? Go on our website. Uh, there's information there, whether you want to mail in a check, whether you want to go online and give. Do your very best and pray what God would have you to do in this hour. We, we love you. We appreciate you. We thank you for your support. Thank you for supporting our team members. And may the Lord richly bless you, keep you, shine upon you, be gracious to you, and lift up the full favor of his countenance towards you and give you shalom, peace in the name of the Sar Shalom, the Prince of Peace. Amen.